Hello, my name is James Davis Scott. I'm a filmmaker, director, and the documenter of this documentary. I first came interested in car pirates about two years ago when I read an article in a newspaper. I started my search of the car pirates by contacting the editor of the newspaper. I found out that the road bandits, as he called them, were most commonly sighted in the southeastern U.S. It wasn't much, but it was a start. After hours of searching on the internet, I found out that the pirates, in the nautical sense, make birth in a small town in Alabama called Desert Dreams, and I was off. When I arrived at Desert Dreams, Alabama, I didn't really know who to turn to or where to start. I searched vigorously without any luck or any leads, and so after two weeks of hopeless, random searching, I decided it was time to give up. Well, I'm getting a little hasty and overzealous in my departure. I think I'm gonna go home. I did my research. I don't believe it! After my unexpected and very lucky encounter with the car pirates, I explained what it was I was doing there and that I wanted to document their lives. They agreed after I promised them all of the booty I had on me. I introduced myself to the crew. Raf Gormack, the first mate. Chang Ping, the scout. Tim the Terrible, the weapons master. Greasel, the crew's mechanic. And of course, the captain, whose actual name I never found out. The pirates warmed up to me quickly, and I began asking them questions about themselves. Well, the life of a car pirate is quite simple, really. Um, we commandeer and plunder ships and settlements to make our living. So you're stealing? Well, right, yeah. Well, it's not really stealing, is like what it is, like what Robin Hood does. So you steal from the rich and give to the poor? Right, but not only the poor, but like. Also the evil. How can you tell who's rich and who's poor? It's like a sixth sense, really. Yeah, we just we just kind of can. But you do get back to the poor, right? Uh, well, most of the time it's just us. Yeah, we're pretty poor. Well, yeah, all the time it's just us. After a few weeks of observing the pirate's routine, the captain announced he had a special assignment for Chang. All right, get off me. All right, man, gather up. Alright. In the morning, I'm sending Chang Ping on a reconnaissance mission to Arnis Glaglion to search for the White Diamond, the RSX 340 Zero Turbo GT. <gasps> Although it wasn't sure what era snuggling was, the pirates sure were terrified of it. Our snuggling is a place traded by all sailors. It is a place where the RSX 340 Turbo sank in a fiery battle with the law. All vessels that sail the now same, share the same fate. The pirates argued and fought over whether or not this mission was safe. But in the end, the captain pulled his rank and ruled that the mission was to go ahead as planned. In the morning, Chang headed out. But before he left, I got a chance to talk to him about his feelings on the assignment. So, Chang, what are your feelings about the scouting assignment? 
Are you worried or concerned at all? Are you concerned about the safety of Chang? Oh yeah, man, he's screwed. Captain will never believe in that stuff, but if you ask me, the place is gonna devour him. After a few weeks of pirating, we headed back to meet Chang at the rendezvous point, but he never showed up. The captain was frustrated, and the crew was getting tired and bored. Yeah, man. Chang is dead. Yeah. Well, let's go get him. Yeah, here you are. <laughs> So we went. We drove all night and finally arrived at Eris Nagano. But it was hopeless. We found his frigate empty and out of gas. So heartbroken and tired, the crew decided to give him a funeral. Chang was a good man. A good pirate. Fought well. He's a good, good soldier and he died well too. He died in honor. Very honorable. So what? You guys hear that? Oh. What's that? What you see that? What is what? that? Shoot it! <laughs> the crew was somewhat cheered up by the kill, but again, their spirits sank when they realized it was the very Chang they were looking for. Chang was a really good man and a good pirate. He died in a bit of an accident, but... He died serving our cause, <coughs> pirate cause, and he was always a good man. He, he always, he always took orders from the captain and never complained much and helped me through some hard times. God rest his soul. Let's roll. <laughs> 